Welcome back to the weekend with Anthony Opperman. Second show of 2012. Obviously, with the turn of the calendar to New Year's, it means New Year's resolutions. And one common New Year's resolution for a lot of people is to finally get in the gym and try and shed some pounds. And over the first couple of weeks here of 2012, I've definitely noticed that there has been an increase amount of uh, foot traffic in the gym and sometimes those treadmills are a little bit harder to find but the unfortunate reality is as the month goes along and as the year goes along those treadmills are a little bit easier to uh, to pick out and spot and there's usually not much of a weight at that point so in order to kind of talk about ways to stick to that new year's resolution especially with getting fit which is so important and obviously richmond is a very active community all the participants in the marathons, as we've discussed on previous shows. I want to bring in somebody who uh, definitely is right at the core of this and uh, join us from American Family Fitness Director of Community Events, Cindy Swain. And Cindy, thank you so much for taking the time, first and foremost, this morning. Thank you, Anthony. Happy New Year. And yes, the gym is very busy this time of year. However, end of February, it starts to slow down. And that's what I'd really like to talk about is how to keep that New Year's resolution going. One of the most important thing is, is I think to find a partner to work out with, whether it's a friend, a spouse, or to have a personal trainer or to have an accountability partner with taking a class. Because if you have someone that's going to meet you there, then you don't want to let that other person down. Well, and I know a lot of my colleagues and coworkers with the Flying Squirrels they really seem to have more fun when they go out with groups and and maybe not even just one other person but getting two or three other people and in, in the classes that you brought up certainly uh, really cater to those type of workout environments absolutely you know when you're in a group class you're around 20 or 30 other people but also the great thing about american family also is that you can do group training with a personal trainer so it doesn't have to be just two people it can be three or four or five and you know the more people you have the more people that are accountability and if you don't show up they're calling you saying why are you not here (laughs) and you know nobody likes to let anybody else down you know what I mean when you say you're going to do something you want to do it um And so I I just really think that's the key. You know, I've been personal training for about two years now, and I personal train with three other girls. And I mean, we really push each other. We push each other, and it's accountability. If one of us is not there, they give us a bunch of, you know what, about it. (laughs) Well, and the other thing, too, and I mean, let's just be real and, and, you know, human about this is, you know, whether or not you start working out in the mornings or, or in the evenings, there are some mornings where that alarm goes off. And I mean, it happens to me quite frequently. I hit the snooze button, I'm just not feeling it, and I just want a few more minutes of sleep. Same thing if you work out at the end of the work day. You've put in a day's worth of work, maybe things didn't go your way, you're tired, maybe a little cranky, you just want to go home and grab some food, sit on the couch, or maybe even go out and have a couple of drinks and say, you know what, to heck with the gym today, I just need to blow off some steam. Right. Well, don't you feel better once you've gone to the gym, though? Once you go, don't you feel better? I think it's the hardest thing is actually going. But once you make a routine and you go, you feel so much better. But like I say, if someone's depending on you to be there, I really think, I mean, I, I mean, it's proven with me that you're going to keep that routine going throughout the year. I mean, you feel so much better if you set a goal and you accomplish it. You know, I'm not a big person on New Year's resolutions because I think you should make goals throughout the year. But, you know, I, I think if you can just keep exercising, you'll feel better. Your stress level will be down um, and you'll just feel better about life. And joined by Cindy Swain, Director of Community Events with American Family Fitness, talking about ways to stick to that New Year's resolution to shed a couple of pounds or just get in shape. And really, Cindy, too, it's it's not always about the number on the scale either. Because, I mean, just from being active and and having that physical activity on a regular basis, I know for me personally, I just have more energy, I'm more alert, and really I have... Uh, I have more energy to get through the work day as opposed to maybe going through a period of not having that physical activity. Right. Exactly. And, you know, a lot of I'm not a big skills person, but that's just a personal maybe it's because I'm a woman. But, you know, muscle weighs more. So you might gain weight from muscle 
And if you get on the scales in a woman, that might freak her out. <laughs> but you lose the inches and your body fat goes down. So it's all about being healthy. And, you know, not everybody is meant to be a size 2, 4, 6. You know, you can be a healthy 10. It's, it's just about being healthy and a healthy lifestyle and feeling good about yourself and feeling more productive. You're joined by Cindy Swain, Director of Community Events from American Family Fitness. And, Cindy, you know, we talked about how working out with a partner or a group of people is beneficial. Let's get into some specifics about specific things that American Family Fitness offers uh, that could cater. I know you've touched a little bit on the classes, but take me through some specifics about the classes that are offered. Well, first of all, I'm, I'm so fortunate to work for a gym that has state-of-the-art equipment and, you know, the best classes and our customer service kid zone, but some of the classes that I love are a uh, Pattaya class, which is yoga, Tai Chi, and um, Pilates combined. We have dance-like classes, which are Shabam and Zumba, and then we have a body pump. We have a boot camp class. We have some Academy of Strength classes. Um, we have water classes. We have swim classes. So everything that you would interest you is there. Um, one of the another program that we have is called an edge program and that is for athletes that are going to that next level that's actually what I train with um, is an edge trainer and it's just it keeps me motivated but we there's just just check out our website at www.amfamfit.com there is so much we have to offer um, that if you can't find something that you're looking for then I'll be surprised <laughs> But how does it work, too, if you have a membership to AmFam? Is there an additional charge or fee to participate in any of these classes? There's no additional fee for classes except for Academy of Strength. Personal trainers, the cafe, tanning are the only um, additional cost. Everything else is included in your membership. So you can come and take a class anytime. You're joined by Cindy Swain, Director of Community Events with American Family Fitness. Talk about ways to... Keep that New Year's resolution and, and stick with the workout routine at the gym. And, Cindy, that's another thing that you know, we were kind of talking about off the air was uh, routine. And like I said, I, I'm definitely a baseball guy. I have to have my routines. And sometimes it's the most difficult thing to establish. I know for me personally, it that first week, week and a half, that's really the toughest part. But once you kind of get the feeling and kind of get in the groove and get used to it's waking up in the morning or, or going to the gym in the evenings. Once you get used to it, it gets pretty easy to do after that. Right. I, I definitely, well, it's a routine, and it's like, okay, this Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Monday, whatever, I'm going to go to the gym. And as long as you set that routine and keep with it, you're just going to feel so much better. But it is hard. But if you can do that even, if you can do it for a week and just continue, 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 you'll feel so much better. Well, the other thing that I wanted to ask you about was how much time really do you need to put into the gym? I think because that's the other thing, too, is some people see it perhaps as a major time commitment. And, and obviously people, especially with families, have a lot of things mm -hmm. going on outside of just their own personal health and wellness. But how much time do you guys typically recommend that people spend in the gym? I know it does vary for different people. At least an hour hour and a half, you know, at least 20, 30 minutes of cardio and then weightlifting or an hour class. Um, so at least an hour. And that's how many times a week, you, would you say? Three to four times a week would be great. I mean, if you could go every day, that would be wonderful, <laughs> but at least three to four times a week. You're joined by Cindy Swain, Director of Community Events with American Family Fitness. And, you know, Cindy, a big part of the workout routine is also eating right and yes. the diet. And yes. I think that's something that's really kind of come to light over the last several years is the importance of eating right. I know people are really starting to pay a lot more mm -hmm. attention to the amount of calories that they intake. It's easy to find different trackers online, but you guys can also assist with that too, Absolutely. Right? We have a nutritionist on board, and her name's Tori at the West End, and she's wonderful, and she will sit down and write a program out for you. We also have a great program called um, Drop It, 
which is for men and women. But it your eating pattern is so important. You're going to feel better. I mean, you can go work out seven days a week and not eat well. And you might see some results, but you're just still not going to feel good. Um, so that eating well is so important. Joined by Cindy Swain, Director of Community Events with American Family Fitness. And Cindy, I know AmFam is all over the place in the Richmond metro area, but you wouldn't mind touch upon uh, some of the different locations you guys have. Well, we have nine locations now, which is wonderful. When I first started, we had three. Um, so we've grown, but we have a location north side, Mechanicsville, Colonial Heights, Chester, Fredericksburg, Williamsburg, Midlothian, West End, Swift Creek. Sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. I know there are a lot of, you guys, like I said, you're all over the place. So right. I know that, uh, right. I should be able to spit them out just like that. <laughs> Well, Cindy, I definitely appreciate you taking the time to uh, talk about this. Obviously, this is important to a lot of people at the beginning of the year, and hopefully more and more people can be able to stick with it. Again, it just really seems like if you can get through that first month of January, if you can right. stick it out through January, then all of a sudden it becomes a little bit easier moving forward. Right. I mean, and we are a very healthy city. You know, we have a lot of events to be involved in. And so it's just all about being healthy. You know, obesity rate is higher than it's ever been. And so get out with your family. And, you know, even if you walk around your neighborhood, just be active. Get out and do something. And Cindy Swain, Director of Community Events with American Family Fitness. And again, Cindy, real quickly. How can people uh, find out more information about American Family? You can call any of our locations, but please go to our website at www.amfamfit.com, and you know you can click on our locations. You can also print out a free pass to come and join us at the gym. Cindy, thank you again for taking the time. Always a pleasure to be able to chat with you. Look forward to doing it again real soon. Thank you. It's Cindy Swain, Director of Community Events with American Family Fitness. Join us here on the weekend with Anthony Opperman. The Weekend with Anthony Opperman continues next on Sports Radio 910.